This video is to help you in entering your quarter grades into Power Teacher Pro. From ClassLink, log into NC EdCloud. You will see the screen uh, where you pick Power Teacher, and then you'll see the screen where you usually take attendance. Look in the left menu under Navigation, and you're going to click on Power Teacher Pro. Do not click on Launch as we are no longer using that. Power Teacher Pro. Once that pulls up in the middle of the dark blue bar at the top of the screen, you will see one of your classes listed and a drop down arrow beside it. Click the arrow button to get the drop down uh, menu and then you will select your class. On the far right, as your class is populating, you'll see this is where you pick which quarter you are entering the grades. So if it did not say the correct quarter, you would click the drop down menu, menu and select from that. Now you're going to go over to the left menu and you're going to click on the A plus grading charm on the left. This will bring up another screen and you will choose score sheet under the assignments category. The score sheet will bring up a list of students in that class and you will see a grade column. This is the quarter final grade column where you will enter your grades manually by typing in the grade. Click into the grade column of the first student and a manual override box will appear on the right hand side. You can enter the grade in this box. So once you have clicked into the student, this box will be activated. And when you type in their grade, you will see it populate both in the spreadsheet and on the side box. If you need to enter a code, you would just type S, for example, for um, S or U grades, or you can click the codes box and pick from this. Once you enter the grade for the student, you hit enter and it will automatically go down to the next student. If you need to add a comment for a student, <clears throat> you will go over to this right hand menu and click the little bubble, comment bubble. Then you will click on comment bank and that will generate the list. I have already starred some of my favorites and once you star them, every time you click on the comments bubble, they will appear at the top. If you find that you have made a mistake in a comment and you want to change it or delete it for a student, simply click in this box and after deleting the words, it will disappear from the student's box. Once you've finished your grades, you're going to click the Save button. When you have entered all grades in all classes and saved them, you need to look at the left hand side of the screen at the A plus grading charm. When you click on it, you're now going to go down to Comment Verification. This will show you the entire class grades and comments. Once you verify that these are all correct, then you will select Final Grade Status at the bottom of the page. Click the Quarter 1 Final Grades are Complete box and you'll see a green check. In the comments, you will type in Grades Verified with your date and the name. And then you will click Save. If you do not put this in the comment box, it will appear to save but will cause printing issues. Then you must print a copy of this screen. Just click Command P and you will see the screen pop up. And you're just going to select your printer and then print. You need to do that for each class. And you can just go up here to the top and switch classes. Final grade status. Check the box.
If you have any other questions, you can see me or Mrs. D. Armin to help you.